Hi, my name is Shiva Reinhardt, and I'm going to be demonstrating a basic forest yoga vinyasa sequence that will not include any strain on your neck. So this will be, you'll see positions which you can keep your neck in to eliminate all neck strain. So, I'll start at the front of my mat in Tadasana. And the first movement is to reach up and back. And I'll keep my head in line with my arms here. So not letting the head drop back. And then coming forward, keeping the neck relaxed down. As you come forward into forward bend, when you lift up, the neck stays in line with the spine. So keeping the chin tucked down. And then we'll bend both knees, step back into lunge, coming up into lunge again here, keeping the eyes pointed forward, not letting the head go back. Stepping back into plank, keeping the neck, back of the neck long, chin tucked down, we lower down. I'll go into to upward dog. Sometimes it's cobra, sometimes it's upward dog, but usually upward dog creates a little more neck strain. Same thing here. Keep the back of the neck straight, eyes pointed forward. Do not tilt the head back. Not necessary. Press back into downward dog. Again, just keeping the neck hanging. Step the left foot forward for lunge. Head stays forward. You can tilt your chest back as far as you like, but keep that head forward. Coming into forward bend, let the neck relax completely. Again, when you lift up, some, some sun salutations include this part, and some don't, but when you lift up, keep the head down. Bend to the forward bend. And then inhale, come up. As you come up, keep that head down, neck relaxed. Come all the way up. Lean back. Open the heart. Keep the head in line with the arms. Exhale, hands at the heart. So I'm going to show you Cobra again. Cobra and upper dog, it's the same concept with the neck. Normally in yoga, we tilt the head back so that the, neck, the whole spine gets a backward bend. But what we can actually do is give the whole spine, except for the neck, a back bend. So you lift the heart, but let the head come forward. Pull those shoulders down. And this modification is fabulous for your neck. You don't have to crane your neck around. Now, if you don't feel any neck strain in any of those poses, then you can go ahead and bring your neck back and include your neck in the back bend. But if you do feel neck strain, then there's no reason to exacerbate it by doing more backward bending with the neck. And one more thing that's really great to do after you do any vinyasas is a forward bend with your arms back. And this just releases the shoulders which are connected, all those muscles are connected to the neck. And it also helps to pull the shoulders away from the neck, releasing the head down. So I hope you enjoy those modifications for your vinyasas. Let me know how it goes.